What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we'll be doing something very exciting. We will be doing the F1 2020 mod. So all of the 2020 uh, skins from this year's series are all going to be uh, planted onto the current cars from last year. And uh, we're going to have a bit of fun with that around the um, Spanish Grand Prix in Catalonia since they are testing there today. But before I get things underway, I think it's worth... Uh, Putting out a couple of disclaimers, uh, this game unfortunately will not give you the full F1 2019 mod experience. So if I wanted to do a career mode and have all the drivers um, in their respectful cars, I think I'd have to go to an older game to do that. So we may do that at some point. But here you can see, I'm going to run through all of the cars. You can see here is the Mercedes. Massive shout out to everyone. Um, in the modding community who gets these out so quickly uh, for us to make videos. I'll leave some links in the description if you want to check this out. Remember this is PC only, um, so just bear that in mind. But I love modding. Um, it's the big reason why uh, there's a big influx of players coming back to the game. And I do implore Codemasters to put the language file back on display for everyone to you know, play around with so that we can have the drivers switch teams as well. But anyway, here are all the teams. Uh, we got Ferrari and Red Bull. This is literally last year's car, uh, last year's skin. There's uh, No one has even bothered to even change the livery because, to be honest, it really hasn't changed all too much. Renault, they've got their testing livery, which um, at first I wasn't a huge fan of it. I was like, uh, all black. But now that I've seen it out on track at Catalonia today, wow, it looks incredible and... I love yellow, but the all black looks absolutely stunning. We move on to Haas, which um, has given me big 2016 vibes. It's a nice little livery, but uh, definitely not the best on the grid. We move on to McLaren, and the vibrant colors of the blue and orange working well together. I'm a big fan, but please McLaren, do not go any more blue than what you've got. Please leave it. <laughs> please keep the orange, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, Racing points, you can see, I actually quite like this livery. A nice big uh, mix of pink and the big, WT, big BWT logo on the engine cover worked really well. Alfa Romeo, which I downloaded freshly this morning. I like how they've got the red stripes uh, along the nose of the car, and that'll be more prominent in T-Cam, so that'll be a nice car to drive from in the gameplay pictures. Alfa Tori, um... I quite like this car, but I'm not, I don't know, I'm not sure, I'm not sure on the navy blue on the nose of the car, I think it looks a little bit ugly, but otherwise, a nice looking car. And then finally, we have Williams, who are, uh... <laughs> I was going to make a joke and say that they are still st so far back in uh, development that they still got last year's livery, but to be honest, um, for some reason, no one has made a livery yet on this on F1 2019. Maybe this is a hard car to work with, but um, in any case, Williams look very promising in the 2020 season. They are already much faster than where they were in qualifying for the Spanish Grand Prix last year. So, fingers crossed they can be in the pack. But anyway, with that said, we are going to go and do a race now. Grand Prix mode, F1 2019. I haven't actually had a, had a think about which car I'm going to jump in, to be honest. I love the look of the McLaren. And you know what? I think I might jump in it. Carlos signs at his home race at the Spanish Grand Prix. Let's do it. Please like and subscribe, and let's get into the F1 2020 mod and see what these, li these cars are like to drive on circuit. Well, it's a pleasure to have you join us here at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia, as we proceed through to race day to see just who will claim victory at the Spanish Grand Prix. All right, so here we are on the grid of Catalonia. Um, as this video is going out, I am actually in Spain right now for testing. So keep an eye out on my social media and also on my YouTube channel. At some point, I will uh, release a video from all of my adventures today um, at testing. So keep an eye out for that. Really, really excited, by the way. But um, I'm as equally excited to get this race underway and uh, get a feel of what it will be like in F1 2020, the new game that is set to come out in hopefully a couple of months' time. Here you can see the grid, Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen rounding out the front row. We've got Lewis Hamilton, P5, Albon down the order as well. It's an interesting little grid we have there. And Daniel Ricciardo rounding out the top 10. 
Now, in terms of race strategy, we're going to go for the mediums and pit for the softs um, a long way into this race and hopefully strike towards the top teams later on in the race. We are starting towards the back, so we're not going to be short of any action in this race as we can see Hamilton lining up on the grid, potentially going for his seventh world title this season. It'll be very interesting to see if he can get it. We're lining up on the grid in last and Carlos signs as McLaren and uh, I can't wait to get this one underway. Let me know down in the comments where you think I'm going to finish in this one. Five red lights and away we go for the Spanish Grand Prix. Love the home crowd cheering us on here to potentially get another podium for Carlos Sainz. His second in his career potentially. Who knows how good this McLaren is going to be this year. Um, a lot of interesting designs I've noticed up and down the grid in terms of the, the actual chassis, uh, which you can't exactly see in the game today, but we will hopefully get a glimpse of that fairly soon as we negotiate both of the uh, two boats that are the 2018, 2019 Williams. It may as well be the 2018 Williams because the 2018 Williams was faster than the 2019 iteration. But anyway, we get past Giovinazzi around the outside into the middle sector. We've got a couple of Alpha Tories up next. Can we go for the dive bomb into the hairpin? We see Danny Kvyat going for a move on one of the racing points and I believe the second Renault. We are trying to go the inside of Hulkenberg who should be Ocon. But yeah, because of the way that the, co uh, the coding has worked in the game, we can't put Esteban Ocon in the game. We're gonna have to go back to F1 2018 to fully optimize this mod, which will have like, I don't know, all the proper driver names, everybody's helmets. Um, all the driver suits and gear and everything will be in line with how you see it in the 2020 season. So uh, if you want to see another video with everything on display, let me know. But at this early stage, uh, this is pretty much everything I have to show on offer for you guys today. So hopefully you guys appreciate the effort we've gone to to bring this mod to you guys. But anyway, it is P15. And we've got a lot of time in this race to climb our way through the field. Traditionally, Spain isn't a great circuit for overtaking. Quite easy to get bogged down behind another car. It'll be interesting to see how the real-life counterparts negotiate this circuit, because dirty air is absolutely atrocious around here. But not so much in the game, as we go up the inside of Danny Kvyat. P14 for us now, and uh, we're really cutting our way through the field on the harder compound of tyre. So all the work that we do at the start of the race here is only going to make life easier for us later on when we pit for the softs. The race will be a little bit more open, people will be spread out, and uh, we'll really be able to showcase the pace of this, in brackets, 2020 McLaren. Another position, Grosjean, that was pretty effortless there, up the inside. The AI seemingly, seemingly so far are being pretty compliant, it has to be said. It's uh, not as... Uh, I don't know, they're not as ballsy as maybe the uh, the Toka AI, which have been all over the place in uh, my recent career mode. Check that out if you haven't seen it already. But we're on the, around the outside we go as we fluff up the commentary on Pierre Gasly at the hairpin. I've been doing a lot of inside overtakes, but I thought, hell, let's be a bit creative and go outside this time. And we worked that pretty well. Now we've got Ricardo up next. I'm still waiting for this man to release his 2020 helmet your heads out of the gutter that's not what I meant I still want to see his lid for, for 2020 and hopefully I don't know I don't know how he can make it better than what it was in 2019 that is a fantastic helmet so uh, we shall see how it goes anyway I'm uh, massively slow on the straight here I've overheated my engine I was just uh, battling a little bit too much with the AI running in rich revs for far too long and the engine has uh, fried a little bit and so yeah we Really came under attack in a turn one there, but we're going to get these places back hopefully as we go up the inside of Kvyat into uh, turn four. That was not Kvyat, that was Pierre Gasly. Never mind me. Tire wear, not really coming into it yet. Just uh, having to manage the engine temps and actually the battery, which is depleting uh, quite a bit at this racetrack. There's not too many heavy braking zones around here, so the, the ERS and the battery pack in the power unit doesn't really have much time to recover and so I'm finding myself running in absolutely no deployment in the third sector uh, where you know you're not going to need that straight line speed and just deploying all of it on the staff in his straight kind of running in low and medium through the middle sector um, but I, I still want to turn the battery on a little bit through this 
part of the track to just eke out that extra bit of performance. When I do get the chance to get some slipstream and DRS like we have now, we are well and truly going to expel that energy as we fly past our teammates. Lando Norris, thank you very much. Be interesting to see how Lando and Carlos as a pairing will coexist this year. They've been very pally in 2019. Will that still be the same case in 2020, especially if these two are fighting for podiums? The McLaren has made that extra step up. Hamilton is in, so too is Verstappen and Sebastian Vettel. That promotes us up into the top six. So things are looking pretty good at this stage. Uh, as soon as we get that soft compound tire on, we're going to be absolutely flying in this Spanish Grand Prix. Still a couple of cars to negotiate. Might be a good opportunity to save some fuel. We'll have to wait and see. I might even go for a savage dive bomb on Super GT here. As we go up the inside, we give him absolutely no space. And that is us up inside the top five now. Hopefully, he doesn't give us a savage lunge back. And we can press on with this race. So, uh, life is looking really good at this stage. I'm probably overheating the engine a little bit. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I've been playing a lot of Gran Turismo lately. Here comes Steve. Is he going to go for the dive? No. Steve being Alexander Albon. I don't know how many people will actually get that reference. I don't know if there's I don't know if there's much crossover between Gran Turismo audience and F1 2019. I really don't know. Anyway, <laughs> we're in the lead of the Spanish Grand Prix. Everyone has pitted, uh, except for the two McLarens. So it's a McLaren 1-2. So can we please call off the race now? Red flag. And uh, McLaren would be returning back to glory. I actually could have uh, made a pit stop on that last lap and screwed over my teammate, but I thought, you know what, I'll be a bit nice and I'll wait the extra lap, let Lando have his pit stop. And who knows, maybe he can come back at us towards the end of the race, but he's boxed for hards. And that is a tire that is going to have you sinking like a stone in water. So good luck to you, Lando. You're probably going to end up last, whereas we're going to be escalating towards the front with our soft compound tires. Here's the leaders, uh, fresh out of the pit lane a couple of laps ago, and they're all in a tasty little battle pack. We're, uh, well, five, six, seven, eight seconds back. So we've got to do a, we've got a bit of catching up to do, but if they continue to battle, never say never in this Spanish Grand Prix. Here comes Sergio Perez in the racing point around the outside at turn one. Nearly got that move pulled off for him there. But thankfully, we hugged the inside and we risked it on cold tires. And it has worked out for us now. P6, best of the rest. And uh, you know, this is Carlos Sainz's natural habitat, you would have to say. But who knows, with the 2020 equipment under him, perhaps he could push for more. And uh, it, it truly is symbolic, because now we are trying to push for more in the game. Let's see uh, if we can make the inroads that we really want. There's about a second's difference between the soft compound tire and the medium. We've got fresher soft compound tires, so you would hope that we could catch up to these guys a little bit. This is actually my fastest up of the race, by the way. That's why we're staying on board for the entirety of it through turn nine. Absolutely love going through here on fresh tires. And uh, even though we're in the McLaren, which doesn't have the greatest amount of downforce in the world, it is nearly flat out through there, which is uh, absolutely lovely to see. 5.5 seconds is the difference to the next car. But like I said, those guys up front are battling, so we could well and truly get in the pack if we continue to circulate around at this scintillating pace through the final chicane. Absolutely hate it through there because you can get caught out at many points for losing the back end or getting caught up on the curb and bouncing out wrong. It's just a bit of a nightmare sometimes. But we do set the fastest up of the Grand Prix, 1 minute 20.5. Meanwhile, back at the front, you can see Charles Leclerc is having a go at Valtteri Bottas here for the lead. And meanwhile, Hamilton gets past Verstappen for P3. Now that is not the this is this is not the fight at the front I was expecting to have. At least if you refer to my F1 2020 predictions video, I was predicting Verstappen and Hamilton to be the guys up front, not Leclerc and Bottas. But I'm oh, I'm so intrigued to see where everybody stands in terms of car performance this year. Hopefully, Ferrari is a lot closer than where we're giving credit for. And meanwhile, back there, you can see Sergio Perez and Esteban Albon. That's, that's, that's correct. Fighting side by side at turn one. 
and it looks like Albon is going to get through. So uh, props to him for fighting his way through. I don't think he'll be catching up to us in this race, given that he's on the mediums and 14 seconds behind us. We now catch up to the spin master, Sebastian Vettel. Can we get the slipstream and DRS? Yes, we can. Rich fuel mixture and overtake deployment on the straight. And that is Sayonara to the four-time world champ. And we're giving him a bit of a wave with the DRS as we slide on through. Next up is Verstappen. He should be a little bit easier to overtake in a straight line, given that the Red Bull doesn't have the straight line performance of the Ferrari. We are running with a, a pretty good setup, actually. It's got a good downforce, but it's actually pretty handy in a straight line as well. So it's very OP. But here you can see Bottas and Hamilton fighting away. Valtteri, it's James. Get the hell out of the way. I don't care if you're Valtteri 4.0. Lewis is going for seven. And here he goes on uh, Charles Leclerc on the start finish straight. Absolutely flies past that Ferrari and into the lead of the Spanish Grand Prix. This is a cracking battle up the front. Um, let alone, you know, my progress that I've been making. Just staying on board with these five is absolutely incredible. How good would it be if real life Formula 1 was like this in 2020? And then throw signs into the equation. Could you imagine? As we go for a dive bomb on Max Verstappen. That was a pretty risky dive bomb. But given that my front wing wasn't on the line, I was happy to oblige. <laughs> so there we go. We're through for P4. Not too sure if I actually gave uh, damage to Verstappen there. I think he's all right. However, we are running with simulation damage. And that might have caught out uh, Lewis Hamilton. He is out of the Grand Prix. Engine failure once again. Oh, no, no. Just... When it all started to go right for Lewis Hamilton, it has all gone horribly, horribly wrong. Is that the commentary from Malaysia 2016? That's my best impression. So um, we'll roll with that. But Hamilton is out. It seems that purple is not his lucky color. And uh, he's coming away with a big fat zero in this Spanish Grand Prix. We're now heading on to the last lap of the race, I believe. And we are now on the podium by virtue of Hamilton's retirement. And here comes Bottas. 4.0, maybe make that 5.0 as he goes around the outside of Charles Leclerc for the lead of this race. Who is going to win this one? This is absolutely unbelievable. We could potentially win this race if these two continue to squabble in this one. Let's see if they can get tangled up a little bit more. I've got the soft compound tires, better grip. Can I get the better drive? Not quite. I I'm imploring Bottas to send it at turn six, but he can't quite do it. It's P3. We might be able to get Bottas. Overtaking two cars in half a lap, I'm not going to lie, is, is a bit of a stretch even for the game. But uh, we'll wait and see. Here we go, through turn nine. A wash of dirty air and understeer. But uh, we still have the better tyre. Can we go for a dive into this corner? This is our best chance. Here we go. Bottas locks up and actually leaves us a little bit of room. We are through for P2 now in this Spanish Grand Prix. What an unbelievable race. This is only... A mod video, and we are getting one of the best races I've had on this game. Absolutely unbelievable scenes. P2, Bottas did turn in on us a little bit, but to be fair, I don't blame him, because I just absolutely sent it with no respect here. Yeah, that's fair enough. Everybody gets through. I think it was uh, forceful, but fair. Here's the onboard looking back from Charles Leclerc, and that is very, very slick. Very, very clean. I I'm absolutely obsessed with using that camera angle lately, if you couldn't tell. But anyway, final couple of corners in this race now. We are line ball in terms of making it on fuel. Uh, but we're going to stick it up in a rich and really give Charles Leclerc a bit of a run for his money out of the final corner. We've completely bottled that. And we're going to run out of fuel. Can we hold on to P2, though? Yes. Quick race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Here's our winner, pulling their Ferrari into Park Fermi. What a fantastic race it was. You can say that again, Crofty. That is the F1 2020 mod for the F1 2019 game. Absolutely unbelievable. I know I haven't uploaded much F1 content recently, but races like that has me wanting to come back for more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more racing game content. I'm an F1 channel, 
have been uploading other racing games as of late, but as soon as the new F1 game comes out, we will be going hard with the career mode, with the online videos, setup videos, hot laps, just about everything you can think of, really. And, um, yeah, if F1 is your thing, this is the place to be. Speaking of F1, I don't know, if there's any other, like, challenges or anything you want to see on the game, there's, there's still, of course, lots of things I want to do on the 2019 game. So, uh, for those of you who might be worried, uh, don't worry, this content is not going anywhere. Especially now that we have the 2020 season getting underway at this point in the year. So, lots to do and uh, not much time to get it done before the new game comes out. Of course, I will give uh, the F1 2020 mod another go once we have all of the liveries, once we have all of the uh, driver helmets, we have all the uh, language files sorted out potentially on an older game, and then we can really give this a thorough go. Hell, we could even do this on a set of Corsa if you guys really uh, insist on me doing that. Um, it's just that I thought that it would be best to try this on F1 first. But that's it for me today. Until the next one... I'll see you next time.